Because what we have got that we're going to try now is our new um, the DSPA, which is a dry strip with powder aerosol. And what it is is basically a volumetric filling powder that doesn't deprive the oxygen levels. What it does, it creates a chemical reaction with the fire and will fight the fire itself without depriving oxygen. So it's perfectly safe in rooms with electronics, electrical components, it's non-corrosive and it's environmentally friendly. And these things work underwater. So this one here in my hand will do up to 165 cubic metres. So it'll do pretty much the size of our warehouse. This could go off and potentially put the fire out. And with these they have a fail safe in them as they will then self-activate at 300 degrees. So this is the, like the first responders which the fire service are looking at using. But the other ones we have you can fit into warehouses, server rooms, um, generator rooms. Can be hooked into an existing fire suppression system. Um, if not, they will go up at 300 degrees. So the test we're going to do today is there's a 44 gallon drum that's nearly half full of water. It's got petrol and diesel in there. We're going to set it on fire. When you hear the water bubbling, we're going to pull the pin and we're going to throw this in. These things will and should <laughs> work submerged in water, so we're about to find out. He's going to get it out if it doesn't work. It'll work. <laughs> <laughs> I'll throw the second one on if it doesn't. <laughs> 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 So how powerful is the explosion on them? It's just like a bit of a, it's like a firework. Yeah. So you hear a pop, and then if this is in the water, the fire will go, then you'll start to hear like the water bubble, and then the powder, white powder, you just come out. What's the service life on that? He's got a fucking year life, and basically he's got a very little, and no maintenance needs to Yeah. Just a visual inspection to make sure there's no mould or build up or gut. And they can handle a bad situation for a long time? I believe so. I mean, these will work anywhere from minus 50 to plus 75 degrees. Yeah. It's temperature range. But when you did your speech, you were saying that you could put the pitch and put them in like a range or whatever. Well, probably not a range, you could put them in a kitchen area and use them. But like if you've got a diesel generator as your backup generator in the electrical room, these ones you can get of these where you can put a fuse wire in. So if there was a fire started, it will actually ignite the fuse wire. Seem to be losing some paint on that drum, Steve. Is this the drum? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the fire in the hole? You can hear it starting to fizz. And that powder is perfectly safe for freedom. How long did that go off for? 20, probably 30 seconds out of the port. And how long will that last? Oh, that'll, that'll last here as long as it dissipates, but if you imagine if you've got a boat, or yeah. you know, like a boat, you imagine an engine room on the boat, um, you can use these in buses, trucks, anywhere. If you've got a confined space around the fresh air, that'll hang around for a while. Yeah. Part of the discussion with the police is even like for motor vehicle accidents, you turn up to a car fire or a truck fire, if you get the bigger one, you can pull the pin, you can throw it under a car, and it would basically just volumetrically fill. Potentially put the fire out. <laughs> what they have done the tests in America is they went and reignited that, and there's still yeah, enough powder in there to potentially put it out. Let's try to ignite it again. Let's have a look. Oh, 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 we might need to use the forest thing, which be So they got hot, take the paint off the barrel. I mean, the DSPAs will um, can drop the temperature of a fire from 700 degrees. another one. You reckon it's going to put it out again? 
The um the big one's worth about twelve hundred dollars. But the but the big one will do the equivalent of about eight nine kg forest that will have you got a 9kg one, Chris? So that's one of those good ones here. Yeah. So that's one of those small DSPs. Same size as 9kg, or well, here's 9kg. Yeah. Yeah. It just yeah. fills the room or, the, or whatever it is. Well, yeah, you haven't got to stay in there and do it, you just chuck it in and go. You can right? chuck it in and evacuate. So we find that a few businesses in um, town are actually taking forest signatures out because with the new health and safety act, they don't want to put their staff in risk of no. fighting fires. So we've spoken to two companies and talked to them, hang a DSPA by the fire exit, and on the way out, evacuate, pull the pin and shut the door.